Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney Narrated by Ramon de Ocampo September Thursday Yesterday, Roderick got a new heavy metal CD and it had one of those parental warning stickers on it. I have never gotten to listen to one of those parental warning CDs because mom and dad never let me buy them at the mall. So I realized the only way I was going to get a chance to listen to Roderick's CD was if I snuck it out of the house. This morning, after Roderick left, I called up Rowley and told him to bring a CD player to school. Then I went down to Roderick's room and took the CD off his rack. You're not allowed to bring personal music players to school, so we had to wait to use it until after lunch when the teachers let us outside. As soon as we got the chance, me and Rowley snuck around the back of the school and loaded up Roderick's CD. But Rowley forgot to put batteries in his CD player, so it was pretty much worthless. Then I came up with this great idea for a game. The object was to put the headphones on your head and then try to shake them off without using your hands. The winner was whoever could shake the headphones off in the shortest amount of time. I had the record with seven and a half seconds, but I think I might have shook some of my fillings loose with that one. Right in the middle of our game, Mrs. Craig came around the corner and caught us red-handed. She took the music player away from me and started chewing us out. But I think she had the wrong idea about what we were doing back there. She started telling us how rock and roll is evil and how it's going to ruin our brains. I was going to tell her that there weren't even any batteries in the CD player, but I could tell she didn't want to be interrupted. So I just waited until she was done, and then I said, Yes, ma'am. But right when Mrs. Craig was about to let us go, Rowley started blubbering about how he doesn't want rock and roll to ruin his brains. Honestly, sometimes I don't know about that boy. 